Oh, I really can't be bothered, but I need to go and make a start on this kitchen again. I've been to b and I've got all the bits, um, so it's a new day. I'm still in bed, but I'm going to go and make a, another crack at the old kitchen, get her going. So yeah, let's go and make a start. So I'm building it, the frame, out of this 34 by 34 mil softwood plain smooth timber. That is from B&Q. So yeah, I'm going to use that. This is the rough template, which happens to be uh, blah, 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 405 by 810 mil. So that's roughly where it's going to sit. It's actually going to sit around 29 inches, so about there. So yeah, and then that keeps it in line if I lock that tape measure there. That keeps it in line with where I want it to be, so that's 29 there, so that's gonna be in line with that edge of that console. Make sense? Should do, hopefully. We'll see. Right, the base is cut, roughly. Um, they're all just sort of pushed together for a minute, but I've like drawn a little line so I know which bit goes where. Um, yeah, like the, the bit over there is a little bit longer because it has to sort of go in, but I want to keep these square um, so it's it sort of goes in and then it's still got a little bit extra there but um, yeah the uh, the plan is as the wife goes out in the Jeep um, to just get it cut rough and then I'm gonna do the same for the that that's gonna be the top sort of the same thing but above it's really awkward because where you're not going against a flat edge or a square edge you can't like like if you're building a normal sort of cabinet, you just get the base size and then just use a square and just build it outside. But because you're not going, you don't know how far away you are. If that makes sense. So like this edge here, if you if you went square, it would, it would sit like miles away from the from the thing. If you know what I mean. So you have to allow for the extra. So yeah, it's quite complicated, and I'm. Um, no woodwork, man, thing, carpenter, source, Rex. I'm just a, a mere electrician. So, yeah, just sort of trying to figure it out. Um, yeah, it's coming along. That, that gives you the idea of the footprint. But I'm going to get this uh, this top bit in, and then, or cut, I should say. And then what I'm going to do is go around and obviously sand all the edges, and then I'm going to drill like a pilot hole, and then screw in through. I might do two actually, two screws on each but I think it's quite important to drill before you screw because otherwise the wood's going to split so I'm going to do that um, but yeah anyway just a little update right big boy tools are out I've been once again around my brother's house to go and get some proper tools um, yeah we're trying it's coming along it's uh, definitely harder than it looks um, yeah but I'm happy. I'll put in some like 45s over there, one there, um, a little brace cross here, and then I've cut some extra like noggin things that are gonna gonna be a few going across there. So there'll be one, one there. Um, yeah, and just dot them along. Uh, what else? I've run out of wood, so I'm gonna need to go and get some more. But that's a job for tomorrow. But yeah, it's, it's definitely getting there. I've even got the pencil bit on me, so I look like a professional. But unfortunately, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just putting screws in bits of wood, um, hoping for the best. But yeah, it's uh, it's getting there. But anyway, right, I'm going to where am I going? B and Q get some more, some more timber. So I'll see you there. Just like that, we're getting there. Um, like I said before, I'm no chippy, but I'm sort of working my way through it. But I've been using. Uh, that saw thing there, circular saw, a drill and a screw gun, impact driver thing. Um, it's not, some of it's like, I've, I've tried my best to like pre-drill um, some of the holes and then screw into them so it doesn't split. Um, here it did split a little bit, so I need to sort of redo that that up a bit. Um, I've put in like a little, little shelf in here. Um, and I've done this end here. I've sunk all the screws in so that they're like recessed into this uh, MDF and then what I'm going to do once I'm like 
tighten it up is uh, I'm going to uh, just put a bit, little bit of wood filler over there and sand it back and then eventually I'm going to wrap um, wrap the whole thing in like a vinyl so that's the uh, that's the plan but yeah it's not too bad I mean it's it's ropey but there's uh, once it's all sort of tied up you're not going to see any of it but this is uh, intentionally bigger here because I'm going to put like a little sink unit a mini sink in there and then the uh, the fresh water bottle can sit in here with a little pump um, just got to figure out a way of sort of sorting this end up uh, obviously there's gonna be a work top on on the top which is gonna sit a little bit a little bit higher so it should hopefully sit around that level um, and then just got to fix it in not too mad on the fixings so so I can still get it out but um, <clears throat> yeah just enough so it's secure uh, this this is gonna sit here the the over uh, the over top the work top is gonna overhang a little bit so I've got a little bit of uh, room so it's gonna sit out if you imagine that's the worktop it's gonna sit out around there maybe maybe a little bit more um, and then that gives me a bit of room to put the cooker and then the sink will be there yeah something like that I don't know but anyway that's gonna do for this episode um, where are you there you are because I'm knackered and I've had enough um, so much sawdust everywhere need to have a good clean up but um, yeah thanks for watching um, I'm gonna call that for this video and then we'll do another video once I've uh, tightened it up a little bit so yeah subscribe below if you haven't um, so you can follow along with this monstrosity of woodwork um, but yeah thanks for watching I'll see you on the next video bye